Hey guys, this is Gatsby with Tape, and today you join me for another little thing in my seemingly never-ending quest to make uh, military vehicles in a in a peaceful game. Um, yeah, this is my aircraft carrier in Gatsby using BD Armory. Although BD Armory isn't really a big thing in it, um, it's mostly stock parts scaled up using Tweak Scale. So um, <clears throat> if I do end up putting this up for download, you will require Tweak Scale to do this. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is my aircraft carrier. I'm rather proud of this. Basically, um, I use tweak scale because to make something this big without like modding the parts to be less parts than they would be would just be ridiculous. And I couldn't use part welding because it didn't work for this. So yeah, but yeah, this is um <clears throat> pretty uh pretty um pretty nice ship. It's not a uh, not functional. It would be much further away from the shore if this engine hadn't broken off when I decoupled the wheels I used to get it out here. And the wheels, incidentally, were Kerbal Foundry's wheels. So again, if I put this up for download, you will need Kerbal Foundry's, BD Armory, and Tweak Scale to make all of this work. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to talk through this a little bit. Um, obviously, the main thing is this giant deck where you could probably fit <clears throat> four or five planes. These are VTOLs, by the way. Um, I have done a video on these VTOLs um, because... Well, this obviously isn't like a normal aircraft carrier where you have a runway and like a cord to slow the things down. I couldn't build something that big, although I am working on it. Um, so yeah, I'm just using VTOLs because they take off up and down, which VTOL, if you don't know, is vertical takeoff and landing. And I have reviewed these planes in a different video. Well, review, talk through and messed around and stuff. But yeah, um, this is just, uh, oh, well, what? yeah, next. After the deck, we have the main con kind of command tower which is on top of this uh, this little adapter, well, big adapter. Um, oh, and by the way, the engines have been scaled up as well. Uh, the thing about the command tower is it probably should be lower down so it couldn't be smashed up, but then it would look terrible. And we have a little habitation module down here. Um, on top of theirs is, is this giant-ass gun. Um, that's just to defend against missiles, really, because everyone's always like, why don't you use the missile defense gun? And I'm like, fine. Um, you can do that with most of the guns, I think. But uh, yeah, it'll shoot down missiles, or planes, if it needs to. Um, but yeah, that's all good. And the pièce de la résistance, or pièce de la résistance, or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know. I'm not French. Uh, uh, is down here. I'm just trying to find it, uh, because it's... Okay, in here. Um, okay, this isn't brilliantly built yet, and the carrier is not finished. Um, and not fully functional. Oh! Right. He spawned on top. Um, basically, well, that's actually convenient. Basically, if you want to come out of the tower and say you're under fire, you're thinking that tower's not safe, that habitation module's not safe, those planes are poorly built, I'm going to get somewhere really safe, um, you just come here, um, and then you're like, ah, ladder's not very well built because, um, again, I haven't had a, l a lot of time to refine this, and you're like, ah, I'll drop down here, shatter my legs. Um, no, you won't shatter it because you'll fall into water. You're not actually supposed to fall into water, but this doesn't have enough clearance for my hallway idea to work, but basically then you would be walking along this hallway instead of I'm swimming. Because obviously there's been a whole breach and it's filling up with water. That's the story I'm going with. Um, and then yeah, you've got this little safe room where you can come and sit and probably just get killed just as much. Um, but yeah, it's quite it's quite nice, I think. Um, it, it's, I think, like a little over 200 parts and it weighs maybe 250 tons, which is pretty light for a boat. Um, someone did point out my old battleship, uh, her quotation marks, was actually like 170 tons instead of like 70,000. Um, but yeah, um, the way, the problem with this as well is the planes. I got them out here just by decup by attaching them to the um, attaching them to the uh, to the deck with decouplers uh, onto those engines, uh, which for some reason meant the middle engine wouldn't work. So I just decoupled that because these are all on um, on these uh, little uh, docking ports, so I can just drop them if I need to for whatever reason. And yeah, that actually has a reason now. Ooh, don't look at the stuff for later. Um, but yeah, uh, where am I? Uh, I want to take a look at one of these. Um, this one has been flown a bit today, because I may have just recorded this, and then, uh, Bandicam was like, Yeah, you know what? Your game's crashed. I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna, just not gonna do that footage. So yeah, you can use the engines to obviously take off, and then, you know, um, fly around a bit. I'm not gonna fly around a bit, because I use most of my fuel doing the last recording of this. But then, when you get bored, you would land, um, kind of just, you know, just, just do a bit of landing. Um, this would be way better, by the way. Um, it would have loads more thrust and we would take off very fast and stuff and then fly away if it had got that third engine. But yeah, again, there's lots of problems with this right now. A few mod instabilities, I think, and then a few other things. But yeah, it probably will be up for download um, if you really want it. If I don't put it up, feel free to yell at me. 
Um, but you will need those three mods I mentioned. Oh god, I'm gonna miss. Uh, but yeah. No, I can't miss. I can't miss. Uh, it's, I'm not very good with VTOLs yet. Um, still learning. Uh, but yeah, I think this is pretty much the most viable use for this carrier. Uh, drop! Oh, fuck it! Whew, nailed it. Um, yeah, pretty good landing. Obviously, you'd want to touch down much softer than that, but I was a little worried about fuel. Anyway, um, enough of this. Let's blow it up. Uh, yeah. So I want to test out that gun, obviously, and not just fire missiles at things. What do you think I am? Um, anyway, this is one of my interceptor planes. I've been basically working on a big fleet. Basically, I've been working on um, those VTOLs, that carrier, um, another carrier, which probably will never happen. Um, a bomber and these interceptors. There are three variants. There's this one, which is the Grand Assault, so it has a big Gatling gun which can point down. It also has um, uh, these Hellfire missiles. There's the just interceptor variant where it's uh, made for in-air combat, um, if I ever do something like that. Because I have done a video like that before where I used Burn Together. Um, and there's one for landing on a carrier, which I'll explain after I've explained how great this is at taking off. Um, basically at about 50 meters per second, which it doesn't take very long to accelerate to, it'll just take right off. Because I, um, they were designed for like quick takeoffs and like possibly being on a carrier or something. So yeah, and then you can just buzz around, do crazy stuff. Um, the one designed for landing on the carrier is a little heavier because it has to carry lots of liquid fuel and ox oxidizer for its retrograde rocket so that it can land on a c in a very small distance. But yeah, um, this, however, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I think I've co covered all of these. Basically, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, fire these Hellfire missiles, which I hear are very good at taking out planes. They're not planes, ground assault things. Um, someone was like, on that video I did where I kind of did a dogfight, someone was like, you used Hellfires to... Uh, to take down an aircraft, oh, it was a face palm. I was like, yeah, but it, but it worked. So, is it a face palm, or is it not a face palm because it worked? I think it's my version because I like me. Um, seem to be doing a lot of uh, explaining to people why I'm right recently. Although uh, I am wrong in a lot of videos, um, about especially if it involves science. Apparently, I'm not actually very good at science. Um, for some reason, people seem to assume that. I'm some sort of astrophysicist, whereas in actual fact I'm a... Oh, I've just turned 18. Yeah, I'm still at school, so I'm not supposed to know these things. Um, anyway, let's go and do a kill. Go and do a shoot bang McClan. I don't know what that noise was, but I seem to be making a lot in videos recently. Anyway, we're doing lots of lots of, lots of barrel rolls, because you got to do a barrel roll, though. Um, so yeah, I want to see um, how well that uh, goalkeeper gun will take this down. I have already set it up. I quite like the wing setup on these planes. It took me not very long because I do. I usually design things very quickly because I'm like, eh, uh, yeah. That's my uh, video making process. Is I'm like, eh. So yeah, we're gonna get shot in a bit. Um, yeah, there's some bullets. Anyway, let's start. Oh jeez, 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 jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, uh, look, it's trying to shoot down the missile. I think it's doing a shitty job of it, but it did try. Oh my god, it actually shot it down. Holy dick. That's the first time that's happened. Oh god. So I'm dead, but. It's trying to shoot down a missile now, I believe. See, it's pretty effective at defending itself. So yeah, that is my carrier. Um, it's pretty good at shot down a missile, shot down a plane, and then has some planes. And these planes, incidentally, do have rockets. Oh, what the f- There's my plane! Oh, let's go see what's uh, left of that. Um, ooh, I do have a spare plane. Let's go take a look around. Um, and I do have a spare pilot. Uh, Jeb, get in the- Get in the plane, do the flying. <laughs> um, th these VTOLs actually do have rockets on them. I want to make put, give some uh, more weapons, like guns, maybe a missile or two, um, just so they'll be more effective. But I quite like the... They have pretty light rockets on them. But yeah, they're pretty nice. Um, don't think I'm actually going to be able to get onto this. Um, man, if only I could hack gravity. <laughs> oh, wait, I can totally hack gravity, because I'm mad hacks. I am hacking skill MLG pro lizard squad. <laughs> lizard squad got hacked. Fucking assholes. I like how um, oh, they were they got ha hacked by some actual hackers, not some people who learned how to DDoS. Um, and they were just like, um, uh, and so they, a bunch of them got arrested because you know they're criminals. And they were like, you you can't arrest a lizard. It's like you're not actually lizards. You do you do know that right? And then they were, like, insulting these hackers, calling them greasy nerds. And in fairness, they call themselves hackers. So isn't that kind of just, like, calling themselves greasy nerds? Oh, I, the action groups are gone. Um, so I'll just activate the engines manually. Oh, yeah, that one doesn't work because it was attached. Uh, fucking lizard squad. Um, 
Anyway, uh, let's take off. Um, and s just see how hardy this is, because uh, it's not a brilliantly hardy carrier, because it's only like little bits of metal. And because I've used tweak scale, it's actually... Um, what the hell? No control from here. God damn. Anyway, because I've used tweak scale, it's not actually uh, brilliantly... Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, it's, it's not brilliantly like durable because... Oh god damn, my engine, my action groups aren't working. I was trying to activate this through an action group. Maybe it's like all my fuel now. Um, I feel like I was saying something. Oh shit, this is going to be difficult. Um, oh no, shut down. Shut, fucking shut down. Okay, or don't, I guess. Shut, fucking asshole. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah, the carrier isn't brilliantly durable for the simple fact that it's made of less parts, because if you've got lots of little parts, when one of them gets destroyed, it doesn't really matter. Okay, none of my action groups work. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, this is kind of a bit annoying. Okay, cool. I'll just have my... I'm going to have to fire them manually. Anyway, because once it, if it's made of little parts, when, like, one gets destroyed, um, it's like there's a bunch more, so it doesn't destroy that much of the ship. But when, like, one of the pieces, say, the deck gets destroyed, that's, like, the whole ship basically screwed. Although they are way more... They are a little more, like, resistant than, like, normal size ones. Um, but yeah, it's it's I'm pre I'm overall pretty happy with this and there will probably be a download link where you can also get this VTOL Probably I'll probably put some interceptors in there um, Just that sort of stuff. You'll need BD Armory um, tweak scale and um, What's the other one? Uh, oh fuck. Uh, Kerbal foundries for the wheels um, Okay, so this isn't even activated um, Okay, so I'm just gonna be firing absolutely blind Okay Cool. It's cool. I'm I'm awesome. It's fine. Um. Ooh. Am I awesome? Fuck you. Yes. Nailed it. I'm the best. Whoa. And I like I like buzz the tower. Yes. Because I flew into the danger zone. Freaking flew right in there. Fucking call Kenny Loggins. Tell him I'm in the danger zone. And then he'll be like, shit. He's in the danger zone. And I'll be like, okay. I'll come help you. Um. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a, little bit of a... I want to see how much I destroy it, actually. Then I'll end the video. Because, who needs to... Oh, or I'll just die, I guess. Oh, this is nowhere near as maneuverable as the interceptors, because it's like... It's like a dodo. It's like the dodo of things. Look, it's like big and dumb and stupid, and its wings are stupid! But it can take off vertically, so it wins. Oh, yeah, look, it's pretty... Fine. Ah, you know what? Fuck you, Jeb. Um, he's fine. He'll land. Yeah, see, it, like, bollocked up the front a bit, but yeah. I mean, the guy in the safe room is fine, I think. Yeah, see? <laughs> and everyone else is fine. Oh, yeah, everyone's pretty fine. Um, this does contain, like, six... Oh, it did a lot lose a lot of bullets, though. Oh, damn. Anyway, um, yeah. Oh, it lost another panel there. Just inspecting the damage, I guess. Anyway, I've, like, almost end... Where did the plane go? Anyway, I've almost ended this video, like, six times now, so, um... So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you, uh, you know, like this sort of stuff and maybe want to check this out on my media file link, which I will put up at some point uh, in the description. Um, but bearing in mind, uh, the front wheels don't separate properly, so that'll be a problem. Um, the weapon manager is like hidden down here somewhere. It's very hard to get to, so that'll be a problem. Um, there's a problem with the VTOLs, as I've explained. The engines, those don't work properly. Um, the wheels are a bit just fucked up in general. So there's a few problems. Oh, and sometimes this middle panel, which is the root part, sometimes that'll just shrink to, like, the normal size. So you'll just have a giant hole in your ship. So yeah, there's lots of problems, but if you want to play around with it and maybe improve it, then feel free. Um, the link is in the description. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Chaos Paper Tape. I will see you next time.